Hello, it's Heather here for Me and My Big Ideas, and I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to make these cute little mini books. So first I want to show you how this heart one looks. Um, I had made this one first and then decided to do a tutorial on it, and since I had already made this one, I couldn't show you how to make it. I will show you how to make another one just with different cards. So it even has a cute little binding here that I'll show you how to make. And it's really easy, just all you need is just some glue and some paper. So first you're going to trim off a 4, piece, four inch piece by 12 inches. And then you're going to score on each 1 inch line. I have the scoreboard that is easy to use or I've seen that there are scoring blades for your paper cutter. And then you're just going to fold it accordion style. So here are the cards I'm going to be using for the pages. I'm just going to lay them out so I can see what they look like, um, which patterns go good with what, and then I'm going to start gluing the pages in. So since this is going to be on the other side of the cover, I put it there on the very first fold. Um, I don't really know how to explain it other than it's just right there on that first piece of paper that's scored. So as I'm gluing these in, you want to kind of fold fold it how it's going to be sitting so the room the, the piece of paper will have some room to move. Um, if you glue them too close to the binding, like um, to the crease, it will make it to where you can't open the book as easy. So you might have to put a tiny, tiny space in between that folding line and the, the card. I hope that makes sense. So you don't want to put adhesive on both sides of the papers. You just do a lot on one like I'm doing here and then you're just going to do one strip on the other side since that's all that doesn't have adhesive on it. And this one since it's the back piece I'm only going to put a one strip on um, because I just remembered that I needed to do the binding first and not put the covers on so I'm actually going to end up having to take the cover off that pretty happiness card. So sad. So I used some Scotch quick glue or quick dry adhesive to put in the binding here. You don't want it um, accordion, accordion folding out so you want it to stay together so the pages will turn correctly. So I'm just pressing that and you can put something heavy on top of it or even something light like the, the glue runner. And then I'm just going to make the little binding. So all you're going to do, well actually first I'm going to take off the cover because I wasn't supposed to glue it on yet. So I had to pick a different cover, which actually ends up being that pink piece of paper you see in the frame right there. So for the binding, you're just going to take that piece of paper that you put glue on and just fold it over the, over the binding area. It stays really well and just as long as you put enough glue on it, you'll be good. So there's the cover. Since I had to change it, I really like that other piece, but and I think there's another one of those happiness cards in the pack, but I couldn't find it because I was just like frantically looking for another piece since I'd messed that one up. So, anyways, so there's the back of it, and the last step is to use the glue and put down in the binding. This is so um, it will stay put and not try to flag open when you're opening the pages. So there you go. So here's what that first mini book looks like once again. And we would love for you to visit the Me and My Big Ideas website at meandmybigideas.com and my blog at craftyscrapbooker.blogspot.com. Thanks for joining me. Bye.